Hey fam, welcome in. If you are new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back squad. Here today to do another general collective reading. This is not sign specific, so put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit in. If you have to stretch it like a rubber band, it's probably not for you and that's okay. You can check out any one of my other videos if the title seems to catch your eye. There may be a message in it for you. Um, I would strongly recommend watching the video to the end just because the stories kind of take different turns and I kind of have found that these end up being like maybe a couple of stories within just one reading. So, you know, get in where you fit in, all right? If you'd like to book a personal reading more aligned with your own story, all my information can be found below in the description box. My books are always open, all right? So let's grab some Kipper and see what Spirit has for us today. What are we talking about today? All right. So we have journey and official person and actually official person came out first journey was the upright card um so maybe we have somebody coming towards you somebody could be thinking about coming towards you the thoughts card <clears throat> all right what else okay now we get the fun part Okay, so we have official person, journey, thoughts. Then we have courthouse, privileged lady, and mature woman. So this looks like a battle. Could be a court battle between a privileged lady and a mature woman. This could be two different people. Bottom of the deck is message, false person, despair. So we have somebody here who is in despair. We got a false person who's in despair. Could be a message about whatever whatever let's clarify tell me more about this official person tell me more about this official person you might whoever this person is they're they're watching you somebody's watching you watching stalking looking perception focusing out so you may have somebody watching you Clarify journey. Clarify journey. Clarify journey. Keep its arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. There may be some hesitation. Okay, so again, we have this official person and a journey. Now, the journey can be talking about, I see journey as a few things. So the journey could be like your personal journey, right? Um but we could have somebody here who is thinking i don't know I'm, this is all kind of coming together for me somebody who's thinking could be hesitant about making you know about traveling maybe towards you um okay clarify thoughts I'm going with it this one is going to come out okay Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Have gratitude. Be in bliss. So I'm kind of thinking like if you're under any kind of stress, especially when it comes to journeying on, like moving on, this could be about the actual journey. It could be at an actual travel trip or something like that. Um, this is about focusing on positive thoughts, focusing on what you want to manifest in a positive, grateful energy. All right, tell me about this courthouse. This official person is connected to the courthouse, so maybe this is somebody legal, somebody, this could be a, a like a police officer, doctor, lawyer, whatever. Somebody with an official title, but since it's connected to the court, it could literally be some law enforcement, um, a judge maybe. All right, tell me about this courthouse. Clarify, no, too many. Clarify courthouse. Okay, something here about a partnership, a commitment, or a union. Okay, so usually when I see courthouse and sometimes when it talks about marriage, I'm thinking like it leans me towards divorce. Okay, tell me about the privileged lady. But this is saying completion. So again, like this could be commitment, going into partnership. This could be like going into some type of... Um, because he's holding all these papers, so it could be like going into some type of um, legal arrangement. 
committing to a legal arrangement. Tell me about this privileged lady. The Phoenix. The privileged lady is a Phoenix, somebody who's transformed growth, change of mind. Tell me about this mature woman. Ooh. And the mature woman, the card that flipped over was mask. Not showing true feelings, hiding personality, pretend, and then below it, child. Girl with the snake. Can you see that? <laughs> Empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used and able boundaries. And then below that was the Grim Reaper and the Soulmates and Lightning. I'm going to take all of these because that these are the cards that literally flipped over. Okay, so this mature woman. So I feel like maybe even the mature woman is the privileged lady's mother. So the privileged lady has had a rebirth or is reborn now as the Phoenix. This mature woman is wearing a mask. The girl with the snake, I do believe the girl with the snake is the privileged lady and the snake is the mature woman. Then Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. There are no second chances. Grow and transform your life. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, contract. Same here. See, this is the same kind of energy. These are the same kind of energy with this courthouse, okay? So maybe a contract is coming to an end. Soulmates don't have to be romantic always. Sometimes soulmates also can be same sex or whatever. Doesn't even matter the relationship because soulmates are truly meant for the purpose of growth and learning lessons, right? Um, and then the last card out was lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Okay. Let's get into some index cards. Tell me more. What does Spirit want us to know today? Mature woman seems really gnarly though. All right. There might've been a real estate investment, real estate investments, karmic debt. Um, Somebody may have a weak root chakra. Somebody could be fearing. There's like, there's a, a concern, like, right? There's just thoughts. Um, somebody could be concerned about their stability. Ooh. Month of March may be of significance. Could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries. We have a jealous family member here. Solar plexus chakra. Um, somebody has low drive or they're hoping that you have low ambition, low drive. All right. Anything else from this bunch of cards? No? Uh-oh, that one with the flip. Sex addiction, child. <laughs> Truth exposed. Okay. Third party situation. Damn. Cyber stalking. Archangel Shamuel um, is here giving energy of unconditional love and adoration, non judgmental love. So you may have love for this person. If you are the privileged lady, of course, you have unconditional love for your mother. Somebody has no discipline. We also have Archangel Zadkiel here uh, for forgiveness, mercy, and benevolence. I know you're angry with me. We have baby daddy on here. Somebody's trying to ruin you. I stalk your socials 24-7. You need to get a life. They knew the truth the whole time, traitor. This card came out in one of my last readings. So you may have somebody, again, this energy has been loud. You may have somebody in your midst who knows something about what's been going on. If you've been feeling like you've got a bunch of confusion going on around you, you may have somebody here who actually knows what's been going on and has known the entire time, right? Lies on the kids to them or about them and stolen money. Okay, um, okay, no more. <laughs> No more. This is wild. Lies on the kids. Somebody who's stalking you. Somebody who's jealous. Potential sex addict here. 
somebody who's clearly stolen some money. There's karmic debt to be paid. Somebody has known the truth the entire time. You do have archangels that are out here protecting you. This may be affecting your baby daddy, their baby daddy, but somebody is here trying to ruin you, okay? So, all right, let's pull these back and let's jump straight. I'm gonna pull these to the side, actually, because I feel like they're gonna have relevance later. And let's just jump right into the tarot. Let's use... Let's use the Connolly. It's one of my favorites. All right, so... Spirit, what do you want me to express to the collective? Tell me more about this mature woman and this privileged lady, please. And the official person. So, <clears throat> something is going to come to light. Again, this is this energy has been, we've been pulling on this energy of something coming out, right? Something coming out. There's going to be a clear understanding of the people or situations, specifically the people that you cannot work with and the people that have been working against you. I feel like you have been... While you've been working, you've got people working behind the scenes, but I kind of feel like this energy, the energy of whoever's been working behind the scenes is about to be revealed because the first card out is the moon in reverse. Um, this may also be about you overcoming your fears too of standing on your own, working on your own, understanding and realizing that you have everything that you need in order to create the life that you want. You are abundant you are prosperous you're working hard i feel like everything that you've been working towards you are achieving um and you're doing it on your own you're doing it on your own because it was very clear the people who were not team players are folks that you could not work with right you've been working you've been doing whatever you've been doing you've been doing it by yourself all right Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And I feel like whatever, this kind of feels like whatever comes out It's not going to make you very happy. And you may feel a sense of loss, especially if like what is being revealed to you or what is being presented, um, whatever truth is revealed, whatever revelation comes about, I don't think it's going to leave you in a space where you're like pleased with it because um, it's not like it's good news, okay? But I feel like you're also, whatever you're working on, I think I said this in the last reading. It's kind of like <clears throat> recognizing who is trying to work with you and who is just trying to work, work you for their own gain, right? And I feel like at some point or over time, you might have been really, really, you know, tied to it you you were really you were stuck because it was like you couldn't figure out what the missing link was and the missing link that you couldn't see was the fact that the people that you were dealing with were the ones that were working against you and I almost feel like you you didn't want to see the truth let's just be honest it may have taken you a long time to release it just because you didn't want to see the truth. You did not want to believe that these people, you know, especially if they call themselves family, you didn't want to acknowledge that these people could possibly be doing you dirty. Hmm. But 
but you over here manifesting your best life. Okay. So we have somebody here. I have somebody here who I feel like this is somebody wanting to come in with some kind of offer or wanting to try to come in and I don't know put in minimal effort but I feel like you're fine on your own you're fine on your own. Whatever you're doing, whatever you've been doing, like your intuition is on point. And I feel like whatever, it's like, I just heard no weapons formed against me shall prosper. So it's kind of like whatever, like I feel like this moon in reverse is the weapon that is revealed. It's not prosper and not a cups in reverse, six of wands in reverse. It's not, it's not working out. It's not working out and you're just sitting there like, I knew it wasn't gonna work out. I'm turning my back on this little bitty thing over here that you're trying to come to me with. I don't need that. I got my own. That's what I just heard. Whatever it is you're offering me, I don't need it because I have my own. Child, you are letting this go. Releasing the burden of the situation and moving forward. You're not looking at the past. It's no longer weighing you down. You are inspired to move on and move in a new direction. And by taking the time to isolate yourself, you've been isolated. A lot of people have been in hermit mode for a minute. We ain't even in Virgo season, but a lot of people have been hermiting, right? And I feel like in this isolation, in that isolation, it, you got you out on your grind. You got on your grind. And you also, with that, you also saw where you may have been giving energy to people who were just really not that committed to being a part of your life. Because it's very in and out energy. You are coming in with all this stability, but this person is a very in and out, wishy washy kind of energy. I'm only giving you a little bit. And you had your, and it had your mind like wrapped up tight, wrapped up tight. You couldn't understand it. But the reason why that, that connection or the relationship or the dynamic never really worked is because this person was giving very little, very little. And by you separating from the crowd or separating from the situation, it allowed you to see that. It allowed you to see that you were the one that brought the stability. Okay. Child, broken contract, you may, you, you choose yourself. Yeah, child, you choose yourself. And, ooh. You choose yourself, you choose to, to break the contract. If you there is a situation here, this is you choosing yourself. You may have this person blocked. You may be blocking people out. You may feel as though you have to defend your decision to cut someone out. But the reason why you're doing it is because there were nothing but lies here. There was unfair treatment. There was dishonesty. There was injustice. And now the cycle is over, the world. You've learned your lesson. And you're ready for new adventures. You're ready for you're ready for the next cycle. You're finally willing to let the door close. Yeah. And the thing is, is that this person, whoever you're, de whoever you're dealing with, they're very old. Oh, you let it go though. 
whoever you're dealing with here is very closed off emotionally. They refuse to change. That This is an ongoing cycle. This is somebody who doesn't want to change. Literally, the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card in reverse. Somebody who doesn't want to change. Their lives may even be, they may even be experiencing, woo, the way these cards are connected. Okay, so this person, whoever this is, they could be receiving like negative karma, right? Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card in the reverse. They may be receiving bad karma for the actions previously taken because they also refuse to change. You get to move forward because you release this the, the the toxicity of the relationship, the toxic nature of this relationship. You've released it. You let it go. And it's kind of like, hey, whatever happens, happens. Good luck to you. Okay. Yeah, there's no resolution here. This person doesn't want to change. They just don't want to change. They don't want, they, oh my God. This, <laughs> this person does not want to change. This is, this is the same. So this is the mature woman because the very last card out was a queen of pentacles in reverse. Baby, she don't want to, she's focused on everything else but herself. She's focused she focuses on everything else but herself. She's straight, steadily watching you, Page of Swords. Like, literally watching you. Watching you move on while they stay stuck in this energy of being in conflict. And the thing is, they want to play these mind games. And they don't see the ramifications of what they're doing because they don't think anything's wrong with it. This per And then you also, this is like, they come to you like a wolf in sheep's clothing. They don't mean you any good. And this person is literally, like, all of these cards are in the reverse. All of the karma cards are in the reverse. Somebody is getting their ass kicked in the astrals. Okay? Justice in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Judgment in reverse. And you let it go. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Legit. I'm proud of you. Baby, somebody is so jealous. They don't even know what to do with themselves. This woman. The moon in reverse, the tower in the upright. I can't make this shit up. This woman's pissed. Something is coming out. And her life is about to go up in flames. Her life is about to change from whatever, whatever her life has been. That life is about to change. Legit, I don't know who's watching this. I don't know if anybody, I, I usually try not to personalize any of this. Crazy that these cards keep coming out. You got somebody here who's closed off emotionally who think they know everything, who think they write about everything, completely pissed off and unhappy. Emotions all over the place because lies that they have told are coming out. Whatever they have done in the dark is coming out. I don't feel no kind of sympathy for this woman. Nah. No. No longer at a crossroad. I've made my decision. I'm moving on. I focus on self-love. I focus on the good and the hope in my life. I want to heal. I move on. I'm moving towards stability, things that are good for me. No longer at a crossroad. Child, let the devil go, baby. No longer willing to keep doing this shit over and over again. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Letting that conflict go. Mm. Again, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, everybody queens are in the reverse. The kings are in the reverse. Whoever this person is, they want to propose coming to you, work together. But the problem is they were never emotionally supportive. They were never trying to, these people or this person was never trying to be supportive to you in public. So now let me put this face on to do it in, nah. Somebody knew better and chose not to do better. 
and then the and I feel again I, this has come out before it's gonna be done publicly Ooh, it is gonna be done publicly and somebody is worried as hell sorry I don't feel any but I don't feel any kind of way about it I don't feel no sympathy over it either so don't you all right, I'm gonna leave it there because the energy got real heavy and really weird. Um, but the devil in the reverse out here twice, like you let it go, let it go. So congratulations, that is a huge, huge feat, okay? Let's grab some Auntie on Deck cards just to round it out before we close this out. You know what you know, trust your gut. You know what you know. Trust your gut. Hold space, not judgment. Be compassionate. Forgive yourself. You didn't know then, you know now. Mm. Unexplored options and untapped potential, which really talks about thinking outside of the box for certain solutions. And take your time, move cautiously. All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope that um, this reading gave you some clarity. If any parts of this story gave you clarity or confirmation, please give the video a thumbs up so that we can circulate it appropriately to those who need to see it, all right? Um, yeah, that was wild. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Take care. I love you.